Hi friends, it's Susan and welcome back to my channel. I told you I was going to go away for the weekend. So I'm here picking up my daughter. Of course, she's a scatterbrain. She forgot her um, water. Then she had to go back in and get her phone charger and now her pillow. Great start to a nice weekend. Three times you're out. I'll go by myself. <laughs> Hello, sunshine. This will be a week of vlogging you know that. and no swearing. Oh, I thought. Okay, you're gonna have coffee? Yeah. Why do we have to take this going to coffee? I like it. <gasps> oh my god, what was that? It was your stupid air freshener. Ew, there's so many people waiting in line. There's three people. It's too long. No, oh my, I have to go around. Oh, some, the other day I was waiting, I let some guy in, he just came in, and he didn't even say thank you. I want to key his car. So, didn't look so great. I didn't like that. So then I just uh, buffed it off a little bit so the, the clear was off, and then I put um, my own, like, this is like an Asian gel color, which I like better. I always say I'm not doing dip again. It's too expensive. Then I get there, I'm like, let's do it. Hobby Lobby. Between you and me, are you kidding? So we got some cookies. Open it up. Those are cookies. <laughs> they look like a pie. Look, we have four pies. And we're boring, I guess. We didn't take any of the chocolate <laughs> chip cookie ones, but these ones were fancy. Mm. This one's um, uh, Dolce. Cinnamon Dolce. Cinnamon Dolce. And these ones are um, chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh my God. I think we could just cut like into eights, <laughs> like a pie. Like a pie. Like a pie. This looks like nipples. <laughs> nipples. Oh my God. You heard that. I didn't say it. Cinnamon she Dolce nipples. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm on my way to the Tattered Tulip. I'm talking about the Tattered Tulip all the time because most of you can't get to it. It's not fair. But then there's a lot of stores in the States that I can't get to, so yeah, we're like even. Good targets. Even <laughs> good, yeah, Target. I can't get to Target unless I come to the States. You and the one here's the okay. Let me try it first. It's Dior. What's it called? Dior. It's called Dior. Is it our color? No, it's called, I don't know what it's called. You know when you said, when I was testing the foundation, and you said, Your beard? Your beard's in the way? That lady looked over. She thought you were serious. <laughs> I don't have a beard. I wish I married a policeman. I know some policemen that are so friendly. Yeah, oh yeah. And then there's going to be a nice like feeling of somebody can take care of you no matter what. If there's an intruder. Half of them kill their wives. <laughs> like men in uniform. I do too. But I feel like, nervous when I see like them. Like Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. Not that kind of uniform. No, but when I see a fireman or a policeman or fireman, a paramedic. Out of, out of um, careers or whatever, they have the highest rate women or spouses. All the policemen are taken. years ago and was going to give me a ticket and then he realized he knew me because I was on my phone. You were calling me at Christmas and I was answering to tell you to stop calling me or something and he caught me and he pulled me over and I was like almost crying and then he goes you don't know who I am do you and I was like I wouldn't even look at him 
And he goes, you served me lunch at Eastside Mario's. I went, oh yeah. And then I was so scared. But now I see him. He's so nice. He's a good one. Did he give you a ticket? No, 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 no. So I always give him like his pop free or whatever I can do. <laughs> One of these chocolate bunnies. Too bad I can't send you all one. They're all half price, twelve dollars. Have you ever in your life seen such a disaster? I can't even believe it. So it's the end of the night and we are tuckered out and I'm going to show you all the food, all the food that we caught. Turkeys. Mmm. Here is our turtle cheesecake. And then of course for the lush mother, some Mike's hard lemonade. Stir, sister. That's all like That's something. I don't know. Oh, uh, whatever. Something about sisters? <laughs> okay. Well, we're, wearing the same, sister. we're wearing the same pink Walmart shirt. That we live in this in the winter time. Mine's not Walmart. Mine's airy. <laughs> stop Target. There's any more room in my trunk? I've really gone crazy this time. I'm really nuts. I said I didn't need a thing, and I saw these beautiful things, and I couldn't stop myself. I'm almost embarrassed. My daughter bought two bags and these little toys like you know she doesn't have a sickness like her mother at least and the cookies are still here we ate about one and a half together they're so filling oh my god i'm going to take these home it's the end of our trip now we have to cross the border and not get arrested i'm scared i bought myself Mrs. Meyer's the daisy scent and it smells so nice and I I never thought to ask her if she saw it but anyway we get in the car and she sees it she went back to get one it's so funny I was getting a drink at Starbucks and I saw a man sitting at the tables and it, I don't know he didn't look homeless but he had a big um, shopping cart with a bunch of plastic things in it and that usually means homeless you know plastic garbage bags and all his clothing and whatever. And I thought, oh, I always feel bad for homeless people. I always want to help them. And then I look down at his table and he's got a box of Crumbles cookies. So I go, oh, he's not homeless because that costs too much money. <laughs> then my daughter tells me that she saw him. She says, did you see that man sitting at Starbucks? And I said, yeah. She says, I, she says he's homeless. I said, no, I don't think so. He had a box of Crumbles cookies on his table. She said, Mom, he opened it up and he had little bottles of liquor in it. I went, oh my God. He thought he would have his drinks and watch people like we all do, right? You feel guilty when you're shopping and you see homeless people because you think, I'm such a sinner. Like I spent all this money on crap that's not necessary, but I want it and I like it. 
And then you see people struggling for their next meal, you know? I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Can't see that you can see the steam from the water. Crossing the border, have mercy on us, please. Look, he's got his passport. He's on his okay. bike. That's so funny. I never seen I anybody guess, cross yeah. on a bike. I guess if you're on something, right? But I don't think you can walk through. Hello. Since yesterday morning. Where did you go? Shopping. <laughs> Do you have any alcohol, tobacco? No. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Tim Hortons, here we come. We are now in Canada. And as you can see, I'm in one of my 50 shades of pink again. So I'm back home and I've got a, a, I would say a big haul, not a small, medium, a big haul. And I was going to put it in two parts, but I thought, oh, forget it. I'll just put it in one. Just sit down, relax and have a drink. So I am going to show you, I'm going to start off with home goods. It's not a really big deal, but I bought this last year, something like this at Target for 25 and it was beautiful and it was wicker, but I left it outside. Even though I sprayed it, I left it outside in the sun and it really dried up and cracked. So I bought another one and this one is more of a plastic resin. So this should last this summer and it was a good price, really good price, $12.99 for a big tray like this. Plus it's, you know, it's sort of rounded on the sides. So this one here came to $14.99 and it's a wood tray. It's got the scallops on the side again, and you can hold it at least. So you can use it, not just for decor. These are placemats, but I really like this jute kind of design. I have a few carpets with this, so I thought I could use them on the table or I could use them as a center, like um, in the middle of a table or the coffee table, just, you know, align them all together like a big square. You can even use this as a runner. All you got to do is just lay it, you know, this way and just stack them up. That would be really good. Never thought of that till now. See this bowl? I've seen it there for a while. And every time I pick it up, I go, I want this, I want this, but it was expensive. So I didn't take it. So this time it was on clearance, so I grabbed it. I just love the look of it, like old world, like a vintage, almost like a dough bowl, but round for the middle of a table. like. Can you imagine if I had a big island, how gorgeous this would look with fruit on it? But I don't have a big island, so I use it on my kitchen table. And I'm really happy with this. I don't care if I spent more money than I usually do because it's a good staple piece. You know, I have enough mugs, right? <laughs> but I just fell in love with these. I think mugs make us happy, right, girls? If you go shopping, you don't have a lot of money or you don't see anything, a mug will do. It will make you happy for that day anyway. These were $4.99 and I thought these would be good in the summer to put in my on my shelving because I'm going to be using blue and I also use peaches. So I know it's not the exact color of a peach, but it's pretty close. I just like to blend in the colors so they match, right? And it's got some blue in it too. Not much, but a little bit. Not that that matters. And then, even though the front it's of the cover, you know, neutral, I just love this book. I went through it. $19.99 and it's called The French Country Cottage Inspired Gatherings. And it's so beautiful inside, like the pages, like you could just leave it open. Like every page is so pretty. Let me find some good ones. It's got everything. I'm not holding it correctly here. There's a lot of French country um, settings that I had seen. Like, look at that chair with the pretty flowers on it. I would do that. <laughs> it's a beautiful book. And I'm going to probably put it on my coffee table and I'm going to open it to a page that I think is really pretty and relaxing. Look at this. Just beautiful. 
So I'm really happy with that purchase. If I had only found that in the bowl, I think I would have been good. But you know me, I have to keep going. So I thought to myself, I'm very neutral in white and beige. Sometimes I get tired of it and I want some color. So I thought, okay, what color can I do my bedroom? I want to keep the base, the white colors, the neutrals, but I thought even just a couple of pillows and a throw in a different color really, really makes a difference. And it just brings that little bit of color to your life. I've seen these pillows before and I thought, I wasn't really thinking of blue because I'm not a blue person, like I said, but I really like this pattern. So I thought this would look really nice and still match that kind of vintagey Parisian theme I try to do in my bedroom. And it's cream with some blue flowers and it was the perfect. I just went and bought it. It was two for $40. That was a really good deal. And the cushions, they're not feathers, but they're really soft. And I like the way it has a little bit of a ruffle on the side. So then of course, you know, I'm looking for a, uh, throw to go with it a similar type of design and I found it and I thought for $24.99 and for $40 for the pillows it will make a really beautiful difference in my bedroom and you know what if I get tired of it in my bedroom I can always use it in my living room one day and look at this gorgeous throw it's got that design I don't know what it's called it's like a it's like a fleur-de-lis or a, a leaf but it has a scrolling to it and I just love it. And you can reverse it if you want to. It's darker on that side. But you know, I like the lighter background color. What did I buy? I'm gonna show you Target now. Now, it's not home decor, it's shoes. <laughs> I finally found this pot. I've been looking for it. They have it in big, but I want it in small so I could use it behind in the shelves. And it's that, it's got the rib design and then the scalloped edging. And it was $14.99. Then I just picked up another one of my Everspring Rosemary and Mint cleaning spray. And when I saw this, I've never come by the Myers Daisy. I've always wanted it, but I've never seen it in Target. And they had a whole display, so I got two of these. And it smells really nice. My daughter loved it so much she went back and got one. But she said she wishes they had a room spray in this scent. Maybe. Maybe they do online. I'd have to look. Okay, so... What did I get at Target that I got were these from Target and they're they're really for the beach I think or the pool and but they're so comfortable like they're rubber but I just love them for summertime I like the little floral rosebud design I also got them in pink these I saw these on somebody online on another channel I should say and they look so cute on her I'm not usually one for these roughly frilly florally kind of shoes but i thought why not let's try it i'm usually um a flip-flop girl <laughs> meanwhile i have 200 pairs of shoes upstairs so the last pair of shoes i got were these these are by a new day at target and these ones were 29.99 they're really comfortable and they look pretty trendy right they had them in black as well but i thought i should go with a neutral taupe color for a change you know sometimes i find that i wear a lot of black but when you add a pop of this color it makes the outfit look better and it sort of brings it up a notch, gives it a bit of a higher end look. Max, and look how cute, I just, I just love orange and pink. So I grab these little travel pouches, not that I travel a lot lately, but I go to the beach and I go to cottages sometimes. So I thought this would be good to have, you know, you put your underwear, your bathing suit, your toiletries, whatever. And I came with a little luggage tag and it was only $7.99. Then I got a little hoodie in, a fuchsia color and it was $14.99 and it's a short like a cropped one so that's perfect for me in the summertime because I do wear a lot of pants and you know just little tops so I thought this would be good if it gets cooler and it's shorter. I also went to Joann's to get some lilacs I saw them online and they were on sale you buy one and you get two free so I got about six of these lilacs they, they look pretty good for inexpensive lilacs or lilacs. <laughs> so I bought six of these and they're going in a vase. Or a vase. You know, the purple ones that I used in my other video, I'm, I'm going to probably return them because I found some new ones at Tatter Tulip and they are more, more realistic. So these are the white ones. Now I'm copying somebody 
I'm copying Rachel at Pension Farmhouse, and she had a, a watermelon slice last year on her back bed swing. And I always thought it was so cute just to have one watermelon. You know, I have a lot of black and white, so this will really give it a pop. So it was $20 regularly, half price $10. And of course, it's not weatherproof, so you're going to have to take it away, you know, in the rain, and it'll probably fade. Look like good quality. It wasn't too tacky. You know, sometimes you'll get these fun pillows and they look really bright and tacky but this one had a really nice tone to it it's like a real watermelon color that's what i'm trying to say another pillow that i bought at home goods were these very country looking gingham checked um, pillows and with the ruffle and i just thought it would look so cute on my front porch and i got two of them they were 20 dollars each and they're very soft and very soft so you could actually lay on it the ones that I had from last year were really stiff and I was constantly taking it off when I sat in the chair so hopefully these will be good and of course I'll take them in when it's pouring rain because these are not outdoor pillows but I've had indoor pillows outside and as long as I take them in when it's raining it's fine so aren't these so sweet looking okay so now which you've all been waiting for is the tattered tulip. Here are the lilacs that I told you they're realistic because they have more of a variegated color, like like real ones, right? A little bit of green, a little bit of pale colors, almost like a white. And they do look more realistic. I mean, really, what can you, there's so many shades of lilacs, so you can use whatever you want. Those purple ones look great on the table. Until I saw these, I wouldn't have known any different, but that's me. So I got about six of these, and they were $6.95 each regularly. They wrap it so nicely, too, with the paper and string. So you saw these on my video, and I haven't unwrapped them yet. Oh, I'm going to rip it open. I bought this one stem of greenery. You know, it's not cheap, this. I think it was $10. That's a lot, but it looks pretty real. Really nice-looking greenery. It's not easy. Sometimes you have to pay more money. So I just bought two of these stems. These are 11, 11 each, a spiral stem. Um, you'd have to sort of bend these a little bit. And I thought these would look really nice in the front hall. And I would put some greenery, a little bit of greenery maybe, or just put the two stems. As long as you open them up a bit to make it look more realistic. So I got two of these. And I like them because they have a lot of, it looks very organic with the stem and just a little pop of color. And you know what? I was trying to think what kind of flower this is. And it kind of looks like either a li like a lilac starting to grow or a hydrangea. So I had put the, li the lilacs, lilacs, <laughs> lilacs in my cart. And I was going to go buy them with a few other things. And then I saw a lady with this pot on yeah, the cash. And I go, and she had bought the same lilacs and she had put them inside. And I go, oh my God, I got to have that. And so then I asked her how much this was. I cringed while she was trying to figure it out. There were, it was $33.95. What a deal for a humongous ceramic pot like this. Well, it's not, it's not, it's cement, plaster cement. It's not ceramic. So I thought this would look so beautiful. Even the white ones, like. I know that this isn't a contrast, but look how nice it would look just with some kind of floral in it. Or you leave it by itself even, but we'll see what we do. The next thing that I had seen, and you would have seen it on my video when I went, when I walked through Tata Tulip was this little clay, very distressed looking pot, which I love and are very hard to come by. I mean, you could do it yourself somehow, I guess. I don't have time for this. It would cost me more money to buy all the stuff to do it, to age it like this. And it came together. It wasn't inexpensive. It was kind of expensive to me. It was 15, but it's such a one of a kind looking kind of pot that either it'd be good on my, my bench outside or on the shelves. You know, the Tatter Tulip has beautiful topiaries and I never really look at the price because I think, oh, they're going to be too expensive. And then I did. I looked at the price. Uh, this went for 13, wait a minute, the tag's somewhere here. Here it is, $13.95. Where are you going to get a pretty pot like this with 
a gorgeous tote berry for that price. I could put something inside and put it inside this if I wanted to. This cute little jug. I have a thing for jugs too. I always have to pick up these jugs. And this is the perfect size. It's a smaller size. And I thought this would be cute just on my copy bar because co I'm copying somebody else again. I got this idea from Tiffany Charlotte's Grove uh, Farmhouse. And she has a jug very similar to this that sits by her coffee bar and she has water in it to refill her coffee machine. Because with our coffee machines, usually you have to have um, a certain kind of water. You can't, you, you shouldn't use tap water because it corrodes the um, insides of the coffee machine. So you should be using, you know, distilled or bottled or whatever. So I keep it in here. I filter the water and I put it in here. And I, of course you put it in the coffee machine. And that one, this little, little cute little pot was $12.95. It's glazed and very pretty. Everything's pretty. I want everything. I don't need everything. I went on this venture with my daughter saying, I don't need much. No, nope, don't need anything. And then I went crazy again. I do need medical attention. But if I did, then you guys wouldn't see a lot of hauls or a lot of uh, decor. Am I correct? This one is a bit odd looking, but I like the idea of having a bowl in the hallway on my entry table, just empty, throw keys and things on top. And these things always come. I find it a bit weird with this little, this little nodule thing at the end, but I guess that's the style of it. Maybe it's to hold it. Maybe I could use it as a trough to eat. <laughs> and this one was $10. So good staple piece, this piece was expensive to me and anybody really if you're good at woodworking you can make this yourself what it is it's a couple of planks that are nailed together see at the bottom and they put two handles on it and i love the look of these things for my vignettes and just laying on a counter and placing something on top i just love it and it's very vintage and like looks like barn wood and i love to have the vintage pieces or that look vintage with some fresh modern items placed on top and I just love that look it's like an old world look or feeling and this thing was really to me was really high priced $31 I guess I'm just cheap but it's one of a kind kind of looks again that you can't find in stores that easy at least well, where I live anyway if you live in the in the states there's a lot of country stores there's a lot of vintage stores where I live, not so much. So I grabbed it and I think that is it. So are you all tired and tuckered out? So now I got to find a place to put it all again. I think I'm going to have to kick my mother out of the basement soon. I also want to thank all of you for stopping by watching my videos and giving me such great compliments and I'm getting a lot more subscribers. So I want to thank you again. And I want to thank you out there, Liz. She's from Traditions by the Seasons. And she's been following me for a while as I am, as I have with her. And she gives me such great motivation and inspiration. And she always gives me such great compliments, even though we're a little bit different. Um, I'm very, as she says, boring. <laughs> Not that she says I'm boring, but it's funny because she's, she loves neutral, but she loves color. Thank you again, Liz, for watching. So I hope you like that uh, long trip and haul. And we will see you in my next video and have a great week and take care my friends. Bye for now.